Hi everyone, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. We are under attack. There is a risk. Our precious cassettes are truly undergoing severe problems and may completely disappear. Wanna know why? Wanna know what we can do to stop this? Let's take a look. Okay guys, uh, this is a different type of video. Uh, I'm not presenting anything, it's just a reflection with the cassette culture community, cassette community, because there are a few elements, a few aspects that I think are worth thinking about since they're taking place now. And maybe we can take action and somehow modify this. So what is the problem? Uh, cassette culture is alive. Thank God, yes, there is a comeback. Actually, it already has been taken place in the last few years. But there are big issues, big problems, uh, especially if we compare it to the vinyl resurgence. Here we're going up a steep hill, but it's, it's not going downhill yet. I mean, it's not getting better. It's not getting easier. It's actually becoming more difficult. And in a few minutes, you you're going to understand what I mean. So before uh, diving in, uh, seeing what are the main problems, what is happening, I just want to mention that I did a video where I overview the main 10 aspects, why cassettes are coming back and why it is worth uh, experimenting with them, trying them, listening to them. Here is a link to that video because it's an integral part of this one we're about to discuss today. Okay, so one of the positive aspects is that we do have tape we do have cassettes yes very good newly produced quality type 1 cassettes i can't say the same of type 2 because uh, who is following knows that i recently did a video on the newly produced type 2 cassettes here's a link and they are pretty bad so forget about those Fortunately, as I said, we do have a few uh, Type 1 cassettes that are decent. For those of, uh, of you who do not want to go down the new old stock route, reasonably, understandably. But what we are lacking, unfortunately, is gear. We have cassettes, but we don't have gear. We said this a lot of times on this channel and on other channels. Uh, actually, there is a lot of gear, but it's very very low quality you just have to write down cassette player cassette recorder on amazon and you start seeing the huge amount of trash going on in that in that in those places in i don't know mainly based uh, mainly produced in china but not only taiwan i mean unfortunately uh, it's it's understandable i mean there is a huge gap and who can is trying to fill it up with cheap stuff because it's easier to sell and people don't want to spend especially if it's a new technology they don't know that much about of so that's reasonable from one point and that is why we have to contrast that but it's not easy since this brings us to our our, our next point we do not and maybe this is the core actually we do not have references we do not have a reference deck anymore since the 90s we do not have a reference tape we do not have reference brands we do not have a reference in terms of sonics yes we do have uh, those of you who have uh, vintage decks or their old decks from their youth or whatever it is you perfectly know how something has supposed to behave the sound of that gear the sound of those cassettes the potential the Im immense quality they have but unfortunately since we do have to rely on newbies on people that are getting close now or getting close once again to this passion if they only meet crap they're gonna think it's all crap and obviously <laughs> that's why we're we're we're, we're risking to 
implode, to completely bury this passion, this media, and lose it. So this is one fundamental aspect, okay? The, the complete lack of references, which once was Sony for Walkmans, uh, TDK for, uh, for cassettes, uh, recorders from Technics, Pioneer, Sony once again. We don't, ha we don't have that, okay? I do want to have a little side note on uh, a mention I did on new developing uh, decks. In the process of being made, I did a, a video, here's a link. That famous little bird told me that the French one, probably recording the Masters, was supposed to uh, release his deck now between March and April. I don't see anything, so uh, we're, we're probably facing a big delay. But it's coming, sooner or later, hopefully. But uh, maybe I did not underline this enough in that other video. I don't, and we must not expect high, high quality. It's going to be a medium type, I think, at least. I don't know, I don't know, but I don't think it's going to be high um high quality very high quality like i don't know the second part of the 80s no because there's we're lacking all a series of in, infrastructures we're lacking all uh, all a series of different uh, producers of the components so obviously a one single entity one single manufacturer can't <laughs> make his own brands his own components or rely on um external parts without you know, confronting themselves without finding it at the, pr the final price tag huge amounts of money no that's impossible that's not fair so obviously they want to sell these they have to keep the price a little low they're probably going to go in the upper segment not in a very low one we have dozens of that crap all that stuff but again it's not going to be incredible because it's a gradual process if people start buying that, then they're going to pass to something better. If something better is there, if it's not, they can't. So that's another problem, another risk that we are finding now along our road. As I said before, obviously, we can go down the route of vintage. Vintage gear, vintage cassettes, but that's always going to be a niche. It's difficult to do. New people don't want to, do, to, to, to go through that hassle because it's not something certain. You're going to pay a lot of money. You're going to have to bring it to a lab. Maybe it's not in its full potential. Maybe it's not expressing its full potential. Maybe it's not uh, what you were expecting to go all, th all through that problems with that final result. So reasonably, once again, people are not going to do this. The majority, obviously, we need new stuff new high quality stuff another interesting point that i was discussing with the little bird and i think he is really spot on this aspect is that the pandemic brought a huge crisis uh, as you can imagine in different levels of the society of our society and also in this section what do i mean very simple that a lot of people who are not pros in this sector who know practically nothing if not just a few elements got from YouTube or YouTube channels. And then they try to set up their productions, their cassettes, their releases, their pre-recorded cassettes. And the results are a disaster. But an, uh, who knows what we're talking about knows what is good and what is bad. So can correct that. But it, once again, if the majority are newbies, people confronting... Uh, getting close again to this passion or completely new to this and they find this bad stuff they're gonna surrender they're just gonna drop it it's just more easy to do digital stuff or at least rely on uh, digital gear to, for recording for playback everything like that or maybe the, the 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 maximum thing is going to be to do vinyl records in fact, that's also why a lot of bands are relying on cassettes, because the pressing plants are too damn slow producing records. So that's why a lot of them have shift to cassettes. But when, then when they listen to them, they find pretty bad uh, releases and hence even the bands themselves change. They're going to change medium. So all these different elements are very risky because at a certain point, the market the people, young people mainly, that's that's the core, are just going to drop it reasonably, understandably. 
They're just going to leave it aside and proceed with something else. And that's a pity because uh, there's so much you can do with cassettes apart from obviously listening, handling something physical, all the different aspects connected also, for example, in vinyl. But you can also record. And that, I think that is something that only cassettes can do. Obviously, that's objective. But it gives you that extra step in handling that medium, having a control on it and produce new things, which I think is just fantastic. Whether it's your recordings from your vinyl or CDs or uh, high quality streaming or your own music, because as we know, as I said in those videos of the past, a lot of artists are using cassettes to create the, that new sound, that vintage sound with new music, which I think is just fantastic. And we can't we can't leave that behind. It's a pity. We just can't. So once again, vinyl has its infrastructures. It has people doing fantastic gear. It has pressing plants up going. Uh, people are recording in analog. There's great reissues, great digital sourced vinyl releases. No problem with that. It's a system that it's alive. While instead, the cassette world is adrift. It's just going where, where someone is pushing a little bit the, the situation with its own uh, ideas and sometimes wrong ideas or just mainly profit uh, aimed ideas and quality is just going down. Hence, we have poor quality gear. That's what we're the majority of things. This is the reality. We have poor quality pre-recorded cassettes, even though there are a few that are doing incredible work. And then the results is poor Sonics. So, as I said, the huge risk is the death, the disappearance of this format. So, what can we do? Um, in a concrete manner to somehow save this, to somehow change this uh, falling towards our, this pit. Well, mainly I think we can do two things. Support quality in all its shapes and forms, uh, whether it's uh, high quality gear, which hopefully it's going to come out, or high quality um, pre-recorded -re -pre and cassette producers. There are, I did present, for example, Dirt Tapes here in Italy. Here's a link. I did a pre I presented their their label. They're doing incredible stuff, I think. But not only. I mean, also recording the math masters is doing a great job for real to real recorders, but also for cassettes. So we have to somehow support that buying and spreading the word. In fact, the second point is spreading the word. How good cassettes sound if you have the proper gear and the proper tapes and that there are quality producers, quality manufacturers, and that we, you must try to support them and follow them. Hopefully, very slowly, things will get better. I mean, they did a type two cassette. Okay, let's forget for a second that it's so bad, it's, it's unbearable. But apart from that, they did it. They tried to do type two cassettes. It's incredible. So there are signals that there is an interest obviously because there is a lack in this market it's not being filled there's a huge gap so someone at a certain point is probably going to fill it and we have to keep on pushing okay guys Whew. i hope you enjoyed this video please leave your ideas and comments here below maybe someone of the industry will read them and what else can i say obviously music is born analog well guys if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.